Hi everyone, welcome to Cannon Hall Farm. It's farmer Darrell here, and it's a fairly miserable, damp, dark day here at the farm. But there is a silver lining on the cloud. There's something that's going to brighten my day, your day, and everybody else's day. So come with me and take a look at this cracking new arrival. So here we are down in the bottom barn on the main farmyard at Cannon Hall Farm and as you can see behind me, um, a fantastic new arrival. Now last night we knew that mum was showing signs of getting there or thereabouts within the pregnancy uh, so she was moving into this uh, lovely bedded out, really fluffily bedded out um, pen away from the other main part of the donkey group because it was thought that she might go. Well we got it right. In the early hours of this morning, farmer Robert came around doing his rounds and he found this fantastic little female. Now Robert's checked it, he's pretty he's assured as it's a female, so uh, that can change with donkeys, it's not always rocket science, but um, it's feeding right now as, as, as we're here, uh, which is a fantastic sign. Mum's letting it feed, not kicking it away or anything like that, so it's all good. It's quite another uh, tall donkey as well, and we, and we all know Gary, of course, is the famous father, uh, who's a big strapping lad himself. So it's a young female. We had a young male born earlier in the year, Charles or Charlie, um, so this young female will want a name also. Um, so if you've got any, uh, bear in mind we're in late November, we're approaching Christmas, that could help and it is a female. So uh, if you've got any good ideas, make sure you hit us at all the normal social media places uh, with your suggestions. But as you can see, feeding right on cue, mum's, uh, mum's letting it feed. So uh, here we are, separated away from rest at main donkey group and that'll be the case for the first sort of week or so of its, uh, uh, its little life because we just want to make sure that mum's producing milk, we want to make sure the little one continues to feed and we can gauge that and make sure it's getting all the nutrients it needs, that good colostrum filled milk um, is a must at, uh, at this early age and obviously at this time of year as well, very cold on a night, very damp as well so we want to make sure it's getting everything it needs. It's in here with mum, we can also check that mum's doing alright and there's no problems, no complications, that she's cleansed well. Uh, uh, and all the usual basic stuff uh, that we need to do. Once that's happened, we can reintroduce it to the main group uh, and then it'll have a ready-made playmate in uh, Charles, who were born earlier in the year. So then guys, just to finish off with, as you can see, a strapping, strong, uh, young donkey female. Uh, Mum's doing really well. We've had a cracking 2022 as far as the donkey families go. We've got the regular sized donkey herd, we've got the miniature Mediterranean donkey herd. We've got two new additions to each. And what's more, uh, in the early part of 2023, we think we're gonna have another addition to the miniature Mediterranean. So we've got another uh, pregnant female. Uh, and hopefully if uh, this year's out to go by, it's gonna be another cracker. So thanks again for uh, listening, watching. Hope you liked it as always, and like it and share uh, to all your mates on our social media platforms. All the very best from Cannonall Farm, Farmer Darrell.